What's up, family? So, we are doing another budget with me. Um, this is for my second paycheck of April. And um, currently, according to my um, early leave, leave and earnings statement, which basically in military talk means my pay stuff, this paycheck will be for $749.75. Like, I'm telling y'all, does it not crush anybody else's soul when you look at your pay test stub and it shows you what you gross versus what you're about to net? Like, just <laughs> the discrepancy of it all is what gets me. But this is what I'm getting, $749, $75 is what will be deposited, deposited, is what we'll be getting direct deposited into my account tomorrow. So, we are going to knock this budget out that way. When the paycheck hits, I don't get spend happy and try to do math and whatnot in my head trying to make, balance everything out. So, um, first starting with all my bills, Amazon, Canva, Disney Plus, um, my car insurance, YouTube, and our, my portion, I'm sorry, I cannot talk this morning, y'all. Like, what are words? I've never spoke them before in my life. Having myself some ginger tea, maybe that'll, you know, lubricate my throat and cleanse it. But... All right, YouTube and then my portion of the Disney payment also comes out of this paycheck and then for my savings. So I'm taking 10% of my paycheck and that automatically goes into savings. So that will be $74.97. And then for this paycheck, I'm taking out $150 for Disney, which will be added to the $150 that I took out in from my first paycheck of April so together that would be $300 which is what my portion of the monthly payment for our Disney cruise for uh, in May of 2022 is each month we pay $600 um, that's just how when we did the math and we broke it down that's what it came out to $600 a month and then when we split that in half that's $300 for my husband $300 for me so, I then take my $300 and divvy that out per paycheck. So, that was that explanation. Um, YouTube premium is $11.99. My car insurance is, I have it $160, but in all actuality, it's like $159 and some change. But, might as well just round up. It's $160. Uh, Disney is $699. Canva $12.99 and then Amazon $13.99. So, okay, that is our bills. Um, and totaled out that is $430.93 strictly for bills, which leaves us with $318.82 to do into our cash envelopes and sinking funds. So, starting with our everyday category which I've noticed it is so much easier for me when I color coat these. Um, I normally kind of like just do a line down. It's so much easier than like highlighting every single one. Like, just so I know. So, starting with, where's my pen? So starting with our everyday category, we have gas, grocery, household, and self-care. And I just filled up my tank, so I'm only going to be taking out uh, $20 for gas from this paycheck. So we will put $20 there. Grocery, that will get its usual $60. Household, this paycheck is going to be getting $15. 
Y'all, I changed my mind about the desk that I want. I found a really nice one on Amazon. And of course, it's way more expensive than the one I originally wanted from Target. But it looks like it's so worth it. I don't know who's going to put it together because I don't have that kind of ability. But I'm going to find somebody. I'm going to get that desk. So, uh, self-care is getting 25 um, and that is the end of our everyday category. Now we're moving into prep and landing, which is getting the color pink. And again, just doing a line. And for miscellaneous, we are doing $10. Tom Tom and Theo, they are getting their usual 10 back to school is getting its usual 40 um beauty will be getting five dollars now for the cash envelope um for back to school the money that i had just put into the envelope i actually had to use that the other day because the boys needed new sneakers like it is amazing how kids will just walk around in too tight shoes and not even tell you that their shoes are too tight. And you just notice because all of a sudden you look down at their feet and you see that their toes are all bunched up at the front. So I had to go get them new shoes. So I think it was like $111 or like $110 or whatever that was in the envelope from the last cash stuffing. We had to use that to get them some new sneakers. So we will be starting from scratch in the back to school envelope, but we have to remember that we do have like $320 in back to school in the bank. So we're still good. We just had to use some to get them some new sneakers. All right, so now moving on to long term, which gets orange. So long term is new house, new car, and retirement. Um, so they will be getting twenty dollars each. Twenty, twenty, twenty. Um, which then takes us straight into build, which is emergency fund, car maintenance which, oh, I got a story about that darn car maintenance that is completely depleted because I had to take my car to the shop because I needed to get a new uh, car key because mine was like all broken and it wasn't like it was all taped up. It was real ghetto looking. So I needed to go, I had to actually go to um, the Honda dealership to get a new key and oh my goodness, it cost $175 and some change just for a key, y'all. Just for a key. And I only got one. Like $175. Oh, and then I had like my locks have been making this really weird noise. So I also quite, um, inquired about like how much would that cost to fix. And the man was like $145. So at first I thought he meant it cost $145 to fix my lock problem. So I was like, okay, cool. But baby, like seven hours later, I was at that car dealership for seven hours waiting for my car for a new key and for them to fix the locks. And when he came to me and was like, oh, you're done and gave me the bill, it was $370. And some change, and they didn't even fix the lock issue. They just that was just for the diagnostic, y'all. I paid $145 for a diagnostic just for them to take the panel off of my door, look at the lock, and then come back to me and tell me what was wrong with it. They didn't even fix it, they just looked at it and charged me $145 for it. Never again. And then of course my husband's like, oh no. Like, I could have just did it for you and it wouldn't have cost that much. You could have just bought the part and then we would have just looked up how to do it and how to did it for you. Like, 
Well, thank you so much, sir, for all your great advice. A day late and a dollar short. But anyway, we now have to replenish car maintenance because it's empty, empty. Like, super empty. I had to use what was in miscellaneous to put towards that bill, plus a little bit from my emergency. So, car maintenance is gone. <laughs> it's gone. Um... So emergency is getting $20 as well. Oh, I was so mad. Like after seven hours. And of course, waiting in their little waiting room, they had the TV set to like the Discovery Channel and all we were watching for a whole seven hours was a documentary on Bigfoot. Like I have never known so many facts about Bigfoot before in my life, but I feel like I'm an expert now. Um, car maintenance is getting 15. Mercy, mercy. And then after I pay them their 300 plus dollars for my new key and for them to look at my locks, they give me this paper of like their other recommendations. Like it would cost $492 for them to actually fix the locks. $492 and then they were like oh you have another issue that would cost me an additional $170 like in total the bill that they wanted in addition to fixing all of my problems was over $750 absolutely not I feel like if I was to trade in my car I would barely get $750 for it so I'm not about to pay that but <laughs> I, I was hot yesterday. Okay, so for travel, we have $10. Definitely got to work on getting passports. Um, business, that is getting $5. Oh, boy. It was something. Like, I definitely now know that I do really, really need to get a new car. However, I enjoy not having a car payment. I really, really do. It is the greatest feeling. And I enjoy not having to pay for full coverage car insurance. Like the insurance I have now is enough to keep me legal on the streets and pay for incidentals. Like if there's a hailstorm here in Colorado and it messes up my car, the insurance will cover it okay so for christmas black friday and birthdays i was talking but they're each getting four dollars okay and so um student loans will most likely be getting the leftover money um from like the change that is left over after we take out our cash envelopes and our sinking funds as well as the leftover from last paycheck which is still currently sitting in the bank waiting until the very last bill comes out today, I believe. So yay. All right, so that is my budget. Um, so now we're gonna flip it over. And then we go into the cash breakdown for when I go to the bank. Okay, so gas will be getting uh, so we know we have to write everything all over again. So that's twenty dollars, sixty dollars, twenty-five dollars, oh no, self-care gets twenty-five, household gets fifteen. See, I'm already messing up. And this is why I do the categories because it makes life so much easier. All right, so these ones I might actually have to highlight the boxes, or I can just do that like so. There we go. So that's what we'll do. And then up until beauty. And 
builds category. Um, honestly, Christmas, Black Friday, and birthdays, actually, they can all be a part of the builds category. Right? No need to make it any different. Okay. They had took out a purple highlighter for Christmas, Black Friday, and birthday, but honestly, I'm trying to build those up too, so it will be a part of build. It's just in a different binder. All right. Um, make that look more like a one. And then, now I'll finish filling these in. So this gets 10, 10. Theo gets 10, back to school gets 40, and Beauty gets 5, and everything gets 20, so new house, 20, new car, 20, retirement, 20, car emergency, 20, car maintenance, gets 15, travel gets 10, Business gets five. And Christmas, Black Friday, and birthdays each get four. All right. So now we come right on over to what we would like our denominations to be. Okay, so gas will be getting two tens. Uh, grocery will be getting three twenties. Household will be getting three fives. Self care will be getting one twenty and one five. So that. They should take that green line all the way over just to make life easier for myself because your girl gets confused real fast. That's why I normally have to do my budget like three, four times because I'm getting confused and messing stuff up. again I'm so sorry if you hear the dishwasher in the background y'all don't understand there are always dirty dishes in my house and I just can't tolerate them in my sink looking at me all crazy and for whatever reason I always end up recording a video at the same time that my dishwasher is running but then again I feel like my dishwasher never stops running there's always something in it Somebody's always eating something. All right. So now I shouldn't be as confused. Okay, so miscellaneous will just be getting 110. Tom, Tom and Theo, instead of fives, I'm just gonna give them a 10 because their envelope is getting, you know, kind of thick with all the fives adding up. So we are just going to be doing tens for them and I also for their sneakers I kind of had to dip into their little envelopes too like I only took I think it was like five dollars five or ten dollars from each one of their envelopes for their sneakers because the total for their sneakers came out to be like a hundred and thirteen dollars and I think in their envelope, they only, in the back to school envelope that we had just stuffed, it was only like $100 and five, like $105, something like that. So, we will be replacing that. Um, and then Beauty is only getting a five. Oh, what we said, we're skipping 
back to school he's getting 40 so that's just two 20s and new and beauty is getting a five so there we go um new car new house and retirement are each getting twenty dollars which is just 120 each um emergency is also getting a 20 car maintenance is getting a 10 and a five Travel is getting a 10. Business is getting a 5. And then Christmas, Black Friday, and birthdays are each getting 4. So we do 4, 4, and 4. Okay, so now that we have, let's I always cross out bills that I'm not using. So no hundreds, no fifties. Like, just taking out the 100, the 300 every month for this Disney cruise is really like, I haven't seen a 50 in my budget, I feel like, in forever. I know it hasn't been that long because I just started saving for the Disney cruise, but still, goodness, I, I miss seeing it. Like, Benjamin, he only made his debut one time, we never saw him again. Like, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so glad this cruise is inclus all inclusive because spending money, I don't know. It's gonna be sparse. <laughs> it's gonna be real sparse. <laughs> like, Thomas Theo, we're gonna be doing all the free activities, okay? All the free ones. All the ones that mommy paid for and included in this cruise. It's gonna be real rare if we get to do something else. All right, but now we add everything up in each category. So four times three is 12. So for the total bill count, we need 12 one in one dollar bills. And then for fives, so three, four, five, six, seven. So we need seven five dollar bills and in tens, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We also need seven ten dollar bills. And lastly, for the twenties, that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In ten twenties. And then zero fifties, zero hundreds. Just knock those out of the way. So then this is. $12, five times seven is 35, seven times 10, that's 70. And then lastly for the 20s, uh, 20 times 10 is 200. So bam. So we counted out exactly how many bills we need and then total for each so we need twelve dollars and ones thirty five dollars and five seventy dollars and tens and two hundred dollars and twenties so yeah that is our budget for the second week of april which will be happening um in a separate video but okay guys that is it we have reached the end of my budget for the second paycheck of april thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the cash stuffing video, which should be coming out not too shortly after this one. So yeah, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Um, and I'll see y'all in the next one.